Hi, I'm Jesse Blanco. Welcome to Tybee Island. Hey, I don't know about you, but when I'm on vacation on this island or any other island for that matter, the name of the game is relax. As long as the kids are having a good time and I've got a nice cold beverage, it's all good, right? Well, I've got some great, simple summertime recipes that will minimize your time here in the kitchen, maximize your time outside. We all know that fried chicken and the beach go hand in hand, but if you get tired of that same old, same old fried stuff, I've got a quick, simple recipe that all you have to do is throw it on the grill for a few minutes, and I guarantee you everyone will walk away happy. We're gonna do a garlic citrus juice marinated grilled chicken. It's very simple. All you need is some oranges, limes, and lemons, and you're ready to go. This is how simple it is. I like to use fresh squeezed oranges, and we're going to need two cups of this stuff. Get yourself a juicer. It's the easiest thing in the world, unless you want to be squeezing for about an hour and a half. And you get yourself a bowl. Make sure it's not a metal bowl, because the, uh, the juices are obviously pretty acidic. You don't want metal bowls. You want either plastic or glass. Then you're going to need some lemon juice. you got to roll them out a little bit, right, so they can soften them up. This is the part I like to give my daughter. This is her job. Go over there and roll me a few lemons because they're always hard as a rock. All right, you get your lemon juice. And now remember, it was two cups of the orange juice, but only one of the lemon juice. Now we're gonna need some lime juice. You can get yourself about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more if you like it a little bit more tangy. So you get your lime juice. Again, it's all going in the same place. Doesn't matter seeds or anything. You got that going in there now. In the bowl, we've got lemon juice, orange juice, and lime juice. Now, the other star of the show, garlic. Who doesn't love garlic? You're going to do about two tablespoons. So you got to get, it's another job I give my daughter. Can you peel me some cloves of garlic? You mince them up. The smaller, the better, because you want that flavor really to penetrate the chicken while it marinates. Get it into the bowl with the juices and the chicken. I like to use chicken thighs. They are the most meaty, flavorful part of the chicken. They're small, and the best part is they're inexpensive. All right, you've got the juices in the bowl. You've got some of the chicken going. Got to add a couple of spices and your olive oil. You've got three quarters of a cup here of olive oil. That'll give you a nice little burn once you throw it onto the grill. And then one of, the, one of my favorite flavors, very, uh, very popular Mexican food, it's, uh, it's Cuban. I throw two teaspoons in there of that. Now once you've got this going, cover it up, leave it in there overnight. You make it the day before, you have them ready to go on the grill the next day. Throw some salt on them now. A Little bit of pepper you keep handy. Now obviously, how, depending on how hot your grill gets is gonna determine how quickly these cook. But the idea is to get yourself some color. Oh wow, that's looking really good. All right, well these guys look great. They've been going for about 15, 20 minutes maybe. The idea is to get the good color and we are ready to go to the plate. I like to keep it simple. Potato salad, pasta salad. Heck, for the kids you can do macaroni and cheese out of the box, they don't really care, do they? The main event is the chicken. But that's it, you're done. Now, it's time to head out to the beach.